Hey everyone, my name is Ray, and we're here for the ABL playoffs. We're up against Soy for the third time this season. This is going to be a really, really interesting match because again, it is a third time playing against each other. This will this will be the quarterfinals. So no matter what, we are three weeks away from this season being over. So let's see, will we see the Lapras? Lapras, Bear, Skewda, Comfy. Lapras, Bear, Skewda, Comfy, Marshadow, Dracovish. Uh, and Meow Stick. Okay. So pretty much everything that I would have expected. Um, I think... I think I truthfully did kind of think that the Politoed would come. But the fact that the Politoed isn't here... And in fact, he, he, he probably doesn't even need the Politoed. But, um, regardless, I'm pretty much locked into my go-to leads here. I really, um, planned on wanting to lead off with the Ferrothorn and the Vicavolt. Now, um, now, uh, I think this gives me a bunch of options, but the, my biggest strategy, right? I think, I think I can win this matchup straight up if I can just get a sticky web up. Um, I think for the most part, I can, I can cover most of his team as long as I can kind of get the webs up and kind of do what I have to do against the team. Now, the Comfy is a huge, huge issue for me. I do think I have the tools to kind of beat the Comfy, but it is always going to be difficult to beat the Comfy. It is always, always going to be difficult. And, um, I, I actually ended up dropping Gyro Ball off of the Ferrothorn, uh, for a couple different reasons, but... We will see the Comfy and the and the Lapras. So, I mean, this is pretty strong as far as leads go here. This is pretty strong as far as leads go. And I'm just going to get a standard lead sheet off, and I'm going to set up the Sticky Webs as soon as I can. Um, truthfully, I was more scared of the Marowak wanting to come over the Comfy. I think I'm more prepared for the Mar I'm much more prepared for the Marowak uh, than the Comfy, but... Regardless, I think we're leading as well as we can for this situation, and I'm pretty confident in whatever I can do here. I think if anything, the Ferrothorn should kind of um, distract from the from the Vicka Vault, and as long as I'm able to get up webs um, and I can wait out the Veil, then I really, really think that my dragons are in a great position to kind of do whatever they need to do here. But... Uh, the Lapras is just going to straight up get big right away. Um, truthfully, I don't know. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm, I am kind of getting scared of the Comfy. But, I do think that my preparation is moderately strong here. Let's go for the Sunny Day, which is uh, really interesting to me. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Does this have Max Flare? It does have Max Flare. That is, I mean, that's incredibly interesting. It does take out my Ferrothorn straight away. Uh, but, I mean, does let me get the webs up. It does let me get the webs up. And... I'm trying to think here. Um, I mean, I probably just want to go into this thing. I think this gives me the best options overall. And I think as long as I have the webs up and I can kind of mess with this... Hmm. I mean, truthfully, that was pretty bad as far as bad things go, but... I did pack the Psy Shock just for this Comfy. Um, and I should be able to kind of manage this decently well. Um, I mean, truthfully, mm, I don't know. I could set up a Sticky Web, but... Uh, and, and honestly, the fact that he hasn't yet gone for... The fact that he hasn't yet gone for the... The... The veil is, is is a little bit distressing, but I think just as much damage as I can get on this Comfy, I think I think really the Comfy is the only thing stopping me from winning at this point. Goes for the Giga Drain onto the Vigavolt. Uh, but we are very, very specially defensive. Now we see the resonance. There's the resonance. Okay. So now here's where the real game starts in terms of waiting out this this uh, this veil. But we are very well EV to, to kind of take this on here. Uh, and he will get the veil up before I'm able to move. Um but all I'm trying to do is just get some damage off here. And that is so as much and that is the chippiest of chip damage. But it's all about getting the necessary damage to kind of mitigate what I need to mitigate here. I'm going to protect here. 
and I think I'm going to try to get some chip damage off on the Lapras here. I think I'm going to try to get some chip damage off on the Lapras. And I think whichever Mon goes down is going to open the door for my... For my... Um, thing to come in. My Santa Con to come in. But it's always going to be... Not the best. Oh my god, that's a self proc Giga Drain. Okay. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty not great. And this could honestly destroy me right now. Um if I'm not able to wait out this this veil. Um I'm trying to think. He's behind a veil. He is Uh he's max flaring. I'm not even hmm. Okay, okay. Let me think this through. Let me think this through. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be my best option no matter what happens, right? So, I, I'm honestly... I'm honestly not even entirely sure now that I think about it what, what fire move Lapras has. But we have officially... I've officially waited out its, its, its max. Um, yeah, I'm actually not even sure what fire move this gets access to, but I guess we just deal with it, right? Um, we can just get try to get more damage off on this thing, and this is exactly what I brought the steel spike for. So hopefully this steel spike can kind of do what I need it to do, and as long as I can take a hit, which I should be able to do with a Pasho Berry, um... Although, Pat, although I am I am in the sun, so I should be more worried about the Giga Drain. But I think, by every indication, um, I should be able to kind of KO. Although the Veil is still going to be a big, big issue here. I think um, just being able to get big and... Uh, there's the Freeze Dry. Which, oh my god. Yeah, at, at plus two, that is a straight up Oko. But... The bigger deal is just to see what kind of damage I'm getting off on this Confi. We just barely miss out on the KO there. But. There's the Tailwind as well. Okay. That is pretty bad. I think I think that actually loses the match. I think that actually loses the match. Oh man, I think that actually loses the match. I'm not... Hmm. Okay, so I do this, right? And then I obviously have to... Hmm. I'd have to think about this. Uh, uh. I'm kind of at a loss now. I'm kind of at a loss now. I can Dynamax Cannon into this, and and I can Sandblast, but now I'm in a really bad spot now. <sighs> There's the Floral Healing. Oh man, the, <laughs> yeah, 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 the Lapras probably moves before, yeah, I think I just lose to this. I think I just lose. So that, I think that's going to be it for my season here. Um, literally my entire strategy was was kind of centered around being able to being able to uh, beat be, being able to maintain positioning with webs up but yeah this Confi was was an absolute monster this Confi was an absolute monster and he knew that the fair thorn would be an absolute monster so, so he played around my 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 fair thorn remarkably well but uh, yeah, I just didn't put myself in, a, in the best position to win, and that Tailwind, I think, just seals it. I, um, because I really don't think I'm, in, I, I'm ever able to win through a Tailwind. So, I guess that's going to be how this, how this season ends. Uh, we didn't get 6-0'd in the playoffs, but, uh, but yeah, no, Soy is going to take a very, very well-deserved win. Uh, oh, I mean, we beat him twice in, in, in the regular season. I guess, okay, so, technically, we're, we're, we're on a 1, but, um... I have difficulty counting that timer match as a loss in my head. Um, 
I can try to airstream here. But yeah, this match went very, very differently from, from from what I thought it would be because I thought I'd be able to to, to just wait out the veil, and that Confi made it impossible. That Confi was very, very offense, was very, very offensive, and made it impossible for me to kind of deal with what I needed to deal with. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He just brought everything that I wouldn't have expected, and we can try to get some positioning back here. But in the end, it's always going to be difficult. It's always going to be difficult. Um, uh, at this point, I'm not even... Oh, no. Mm, the Aurora Veil does wear off. And... I think he still has another turn of Tailwind. Maybe two. I don't know. Maybe even has two turns of Tailwind. No, this is the final turn of Tailwind. Um, but yeah, I just... I don't think I have any other plays here. I guess I guess my only real way out was well, well okay, so my real way out was I had to respect the I had to respect the the call for you more, but I think I had to try to lead off with um I had to try to lead off with um the Santa Conda for sure. Like that was necessary. And then I had to, I had to play with my Ferrothorn more carefully. But truthfully, like like I even looked, I don't, I'm not even entirely sure what fire move this Lapras gets. But uh, I guess, I guess like I said, that's, that's going to be how the season ends. Um, this thing's gonna get caught in a web, and I believe. No, no, I don't think I would speed this thing. Um, but for the record, uh. I, my Eternatus and my Hydreigon were able to, to, to outspeed this. Um, his his big hitters like the Marshadow, the Dracovish, and the Barrascuta all the time uh, um, after a, a web. And that was how I thought that I win this. But the Confi was way too big of an issue. So I would try to get some damage off here. Um, there's a Protect. Okay, so uh, it, it could be an, it, it could potentially be another Leer. Yeah. Just to drop my defenses here, and I am Pasho Berry, but um, that might not even matter for this interaction here. But it, I mean, at, the, at at this point, um, at this point, I don't think it ever truly matters. I mean, w w okay, so also he d he doesn't know how fast my Sandaconda is, so he, so he doesn't know. Yeah, he's he's really trying to get my 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 defenses down, but um, I guess even then. I, I mean, I wonder what what would have happened if I could have gotten a, a a double, a double protect on my Hydreigon. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, no, Soy definitely played out of his mind. That Confi was something that I did not expect. I thought that the I thought the Ferrothorn would be kind of enough to kind of manage it. I would love to know that Lapras that I'm I like I'm completely at, at a loss for what kind of a Lapras that is that can kind of come in and do all this but that's gonna be where, where my season ends it was a really fun run i took a couple of really awkward losses between the timer and between the double items but we came back and we still stuck our way into playoffs and then soy that we played for the third time this season and like i said i think that we kind of won out uh in those first two matches we end up taking a loss in playoffs and that's kind of how these seasons go i guess but that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching we're we'll back really really soon with no more weeks in fact of the abl but uh we will have uh the ubl coming up really really soon as well as um some other things sprinkled here and there but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and everyone once again out